I improve the performance of the polar loop by wearing it on my biceps and you can too because polar basically included enough for a biceps band in the box. Now it's kind of a MacGyver setup. Let me show you the performance difference and you can decide for yourself if it's worth it for you. Oh and at the end I'll show you how I created this biceps band. Now as always to test the heart rate tracking performance we'll use the polar H10 ECG chest strap as a reference which can generally record my heart rate very accurately and that's the blue green line right and my heart rate according to the polar loop i wore on my wrist this morning when i was cycling indoors is in red and there's definitely a big deviation between the heart rate as detected by the polar loop in red versus the polar h10 in blue green there quite often appears to be some delay in picking up on changes in my heart rate like right here i had a dip in my heart rate and this wasn't fully detected and then when I had an increase again, this wasn't fully detected. And here this dip was also missed. So really not looking very good. But for the same indoor spinning session, I also had the one on my biceps. And that's this one right here. And this looks a lot better, still not perfect. There's some deviation here in the beginning. But near the end, it's almost perfect. Let's again compare that to the one on my wrist, which is right here, which looks a lot worse. And we can also take a look at another spinning session, the one I did yesterday. Now this was done with the one on my biceps, which looks quite good, I would say. Most changes are detected. Only here this small dip wasn't detected, but otherwise looking quite good. And this is the same one for the one worn on my wrist. Now it's not terrible, but again, a lot more deviation and a lot of the details are missed and a lot of the quick changes aren't picked up on. So definitely not looking great. And we can actually compare this performance to that of many other devices out there by looking at the correlation, which is basically a metric of agreement with the reference device. So let's first take a look at the one on my wrist. So that's displayed right here, where the better devices are to the top right, and the polar loop on my wrist is marked in red. So it's really not doing well. It had a correlation of 0 0.7, so worse than many devices out there. But if we then wear it on the biceps, this is already a lot better. It's not great but definitely a lot better and probably good enough for many of you though for one of the two spinning sessions we did see some issues now next we can also take a look at the results for cycling outside now cycling outside is generally much harder for a watch to track than cycling indoors because there's just so much more bumpiness and movement and also more tension on my arm, but less so on my biceps and on my wrist. So let's take a look at that. For instance, this is a short bike ride I did last night. And again, the polar loop on the wrist really doesn't agree that well with the reference device in blue-green. And this is that same ride for the one on my biceps, which does look better, but in my opinion still isn't good enough, at least not for this bike ride. But let's take a look at a few more examples. This is a bike ride on my wrist, really not looking that great. And the one on my biceps, again, is better, though maybe still not good enough. That's for you to judge as well. Here again is the one on my wrist, and this is the same bike ride on the biceps. I'll go back once. So this is the one on my wrist, and this is the one on my biceps. So the biceps is always better, though there's still some delay in picking up on changes in heart rate. And to close off one last bike ride, this here is on my wrist and we see that this full peak in my heart rate here was missed. And this is the one on my biceps and now only half of the peak in my heart rate was missed. So there's definitely an improvement and I do expect that on many of you out there the performance will be better than this. And that's because the polar sensor tends to struggle on me specifically and it does tend to do a bit better on other people like Raphael who I sometimes tested on. So I'll also be doing that test in the future. But I just want to share these results with you because you do get some improved performance on the biceps. Though on me, it would probably still not be good enough. But I'm also really curious about all your opinions. What do you think? Would this kind of performance be good enough? And do you actually get better performance with the Polar Loop? Well, let us know in the comments below. Now we can also compare this performance to the competition. The hard thing is here that I also did a very long road bike ride with the one on my wrist that I didn't do with the one on my biceps. And for road bike riding, it tends to be a bit easier to track my heart rate. But still, let's take a look. And that's displayed in this overview right here. And we have the polar loop on my wrist marked in red. And it's somewhere in the middle to lower end of devices. 
So not doing amazing. And if we take a look at the same plot, but now for the one on my biceps, that's up here. So not a lot higher. Though here again, I should note that that longer road bike ride was included for the one on my wrist and that will improve its performance overall. So long-term testing will have to show if the biceps band is a lot or a little bit better than the one on my wrist. But you will probably see improved performance, though at the moment this isn't how it was designed to be used, so be aware of that. So the Polar Loop definitely performs better on the biceps than on my wrist, but that's it for me. I expect for most people you'll get better performance, though if it's good enough you'll have to judge yourself. And it would actually be interesting if many of you can also test it at home yourself. By the way, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral scientist specializing in biological data analysis. Now, running this channel is not cheap, so please consider becoming a YouTube member, which is basically Patreon on YouTube and gives you early access to some of my videos or use one of my affiliate links down below. You can even bookmark this Amazon affiliate link up here or down here by pressing Command or Control D after clicking it and using that then for your future purchases. That would really help the channel as well. But back to the video. Now talking about the polar band in general, polar sensors do tend to struggle on me. So it's bound to do at least a bit better on many other people. And I already did see a significant improvement now wearing it on my biceps. The question is, is that good enough performance overall? Well, for me, it wouldn't be good enough the way it performs on me at least. But as I said, it might actually do better on you. So I'd actually be really curious if some of you tried it at home and if you get a better performance because it appears many people bought this device because they like it over the whoop strap because there's no subscription going with it. Now, if you want to test it, you'll have to make a biceps band yourself from the two straps that are included, and it's actually pretty easy. So this right here is how I constructed the biceps band altogether. There's probably multiple ways of doing it, but this is the way it worked best for me, because you can still open it in a way where it doesn't fully let go, so it's still connected. So in the end, the way I set it up, I have the larger part on the side of the little dot right here. So this is the side that should go on the side of your thumb. And the smaller band goes all the way through and has this little metal piece in the end, which the larger part goes through. And this can easily be lengthened, put around your biceps and closed as much as you want. For me, it usually ends up somewhere close to the end. So in the end, it's quite close to the measuring unit but it can even be a little bit tighter, so it would still fit if it goes all the way over the measuring unit, and then it's already quite small. So it should generally fit quite a few people's bicep sizes. So if you wanna try it out, that's how I would do it. But okay, to close off, would I recommend the Polar Strap? Well, at the moment, only if you really care about the Polar ecosystem, or you want your data stored locally in Europe, so it doesn't go overseas. Now, if either with future testing I see improvement, or it actually does better on other people when I give it to some other people to test, or if the Polar updates improve the experience significantly, then I might be able to recommend the Polar Loop more broadly to many people. Now, subscribe if you want updates on my Polar Loop testing. I'm still doing the sleep testing and a more full test of the heart rate tracking performance. And in the meantime, I think you will like this video on the Whoop Strap or this 8 sleep video.